How's it going, everybody? It's Michael from theloftestparty.com, America's second favorite website in its category. I hope you're doing fantastico. As for me, I'm still not over this FBI raid on Mar-a-Lago. No, sir, not by far. This story it has taken more weird turns than Paul Pelosi coming home at 3 a.m., my favorite part so far is uh, Mayor Garland coming out and saying, uh, no one is above the law. And, and I'm sitting here going, yeah, I know, dude, that's, that's what we want. That's what everybody wants. No one is above the law. And all the talking heads are just repeating it. No one is above the law. And, and we're all like, yes, that's exactly what we want. That's what makes America special and awesome. No one's above the law. See, here's the problem. It looks like a bunch of people are above the law. There should be an asterisk by that one. Like, no one's above the law, except... I mean, you can have two people do the exact same crime. One gets prosecuted, one doesn't. Steve Bannon, he gets called in to testify in front of Congress. And he's like, no, I don't think I'll go. I'm gonna let my lawyers handle that. And they're like, hey, no one's above the law. He gets in trouble. And then Eric Holder, Congress is like, you gotta come in here and talk to us. He's like, no, don't think I will. And then everybody's like, you get out of here, Eric Holder. You're good, no, don't, we'll talk to him. It's good, don't even worry about it. That's a little bit of a double standard, don't you think? You have entire agencies that are above the law. The FBI, they can abuse the FISA courts, they can falsify documents, they can edit emails to make innocent people look guilty. No, all they have there is an internal investigation. I wish I could do that. I wish I could, I wish when I got in trouble with the law, I could just go, it's okay, I'm gonna have an internal investigation. I think I'm gonna, yep, I'm gonna investigate myself. I think I've made some mistakes and I gotta turn it around. Wouldn't that be awesome? You have the heads of the FBI and the head of the CIA, they they lie right to Congress and they get busted and it was like, eh, what are you gonna do? I guess, I guess they're above the law. It's a problem in this country when people are above the law. Hillary Clinton, classified emails, private server, sharing the emails with Huma Abedin, who's sharing a laptop with Anthony Weiner. And, and then they subpoena the evidence and she destroys it. And everybody's like, well, you know, it's an election year. We don't want to mess with it. Get out of here. You might want to have an internal investigation, Hillary, you wacky. And speaking of laptops, Hunter Biden, he can commit actual crimes on camera, on his laptop. They're out there for the world to see. And, they're, and everybody in the Department of Justice and the FBI is like, well, we might, we might have to look into that at some point. No one is above the law. Are you kidding me? There's an entire political party that's above the law. So how about we put an asterisk by that one, right? No one is above the law except the people with the big giant D in front of their names. How about that? The big Ds. They're above the law.